Billionaires continue to prepare for potential economic and societal collapse by purchasing luxury fortified mansions in remote areas of the world. It's alright for some. Tech mogul Peter Thiel is building a doomsday shelter buried into a New Zealand hillside that can accommodate up to 24 people. Interesting. Mega wealthy elitists securing high tech bunkers located in places far away from large population centres. What could they possibly be getting ready for? I'm sure it's just a harmless party pad. And it has absolutely nothing to do with the impending collapse of the global economy once the gargantuan debt bubble bursts. Zero Hedge notes that wealthy folks are beginning to understand they don't want to be the last ones sticking around when the party ends in the US. Teal's doomsday hideout was designed by the same architect who did Tokyo's Olympic Stadium, and his services probably don't come cheap. Perhaps Teal and his friends have the foresight to judge what's likely to happen when China is training its children to operate high-tech military weapon systems and develop AI killer bots, while America is teaching its kids to to have emotional meltdowns on TikToks because they were called the wrong pronoun. Perhaps they're wargaming the most likely outcome of China working on a doomsday nuke that can strike the US within 30 minutes with 10 warheads. While America works on promoting diversity as a war fighting necessity. Back at the start of the pandemic, bunker builder Rising S Company said they were swamped with demand from rich clients for five-star shelters that can cost as much as $8 million. Some of these properties have escape tunnels in the basement that are fully air filtrated and stocked to the gills with storable food and medicines. But again, I'm sure they're all just planning a bar mitzvah or something. Many of them are being constructed on Wahiki Island, dubbed the Hamptons of the New Zealand. Peter Thiel once described the area as a utopia. While most of us are trapped not on Utopia, but on prison islands that prevent us from even leaving, the elite are immune to such restrictions. Billionaire Google co-founder Larry Page has been hiding out on and buying isolated private islands in Fiji to avoid tourists who aren't allowed in. He took advantage of Fiji's Blue Lane program, which lets the super wealthy visit the archipelago on their super yachts and private jets, even when other travellers were banned. He even imported 30 of his own staff, while ordinary people who have lost their jobs, businesses and homes due to the lockdown aren't even allowed to travel there. All while Davos billionaires at the World Economic Forum say that by 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy.